Director Davis, <clears throat> is it true that the U.S. Marshals Service is responsible for the care, control, and custody of the January 6th detainees? Uh, thank you for that question, Mr. Chairman. It would be for those that are still pending trial. Yes. Very good. These, okay. Are you aware of a Lieutenant Crystal Lancaster? Offhand, no, I'm not. Okay, fair enough. What about a Mr. Ronald Colton Maccabee, this former deputy behind me who is a January 6th inmate at the D.C. Department of Corrections? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I am not. i just remind you that we do have over 59,000 people in our Fair country. enough. That's, I just asked you a question. You're aware. You're not. Uh, Director Davis, on September 5th, 2022, at around 11.45 a.m., in the D.C. Department of Corrections, Lieutenant Lancaster confronted Mr. Maccabee at the medical cart for not wearing his face mask. So we were in the height of COVID. I got it. Not having his face mask. Is my understanding that Lieutenant Lancaster then deployed her handheld OC spray, sprayed it all into his face at close range? It's been reported Lieutenant Lancaster intentionally used these chemical agents several times against Mr. Maccabee without any provocation. As a former sheriff, did it for a long, long time, 30 years. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the use of this chemical agent, these old sweet speed. In the use of force model, the use of force continuum, it would require that even if an inmate is, is passivity, the restraint, he's not being physically assaultive, an officer would not be authorized to use these chemical munitions unless the inmate was assaultive. If video footage were to show that Mr. Maccabee was not assaultive, would Lieutenant Lancaster have violated Colton's civil rights under the color of law? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question, Mr. Chairman? Would Lieutenant Lancaster have violated Mr. Colton's civil rights under the cover, color of law if he was not showing any type of assaultive behavior? Uh, uh, thank you for the question. I'm not in a position to, to respond to or talk about any specific investigation. Okay, all right. Do you know if, so you don't know this Lieutenant Lancaster, uh, placed on administrative leave, like right away, placed on administrative leave. I placed deputies on, I had 600 or so. I placed them on administrative leave when there was some type of an investigation. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Lancaster is on administrative leave, which I learned she was placed on it immediately after this incident. But I don't know where she is now, and apparently you wouldn't know either where this individual would be today that's been placed on administrative leave after the incident. Uh, uh, thank you again. I, I just, just reminded right. that the social Custodial facilities are run by, right. not run by the marshals. January service. 2023, I had an opportunity to visit the D.C. jail. Spent about an hour there, spoke with the director, Thomas Faust. Are you familiar with Thomas Faust? Yes, Mr. Okay, Chairman. he's the director. He and I got along. He's a former sheriff. I'm a former sheriff. We just connected right away. Great, great individual. The guys in the jail seem to be pretty concerned. I went into the pod uh, where these J6 detainees, we learned that the officers all wear body cameras. So everybody has a body camera on in the D.C. jail. And Director Faust said the footage between Mr. Maccabee and Lieutenant Lancaster existed because I was concerned about this incident. People complained about it. The wife reached out to me and said, hey, my husband was sprayed with foam. He's a former lawman. He served seven years. In fact, he later told me that I could come down and view the footage. I said, I got some complaints here. Let me come down and view the footage of this Lancaster spraying this, see if we have any issues. Later was retracted. Have you haven't seen the footage then, I'm assuming? No, I have not. Okay. In January, my staff foia this camera footage from both the U.S. Marshals and the Department of Corrections. The U.S. Marshals, who you oversee, J6 detainees, denied our request and stated that it fell within the D.C. DOC. We accepted it, thought it was okay. However, the DOC later denied our request and appeal because, quote, a release of such footage would constitute as a clearly unwarranted invasion of personal privacy and is exempt from disclosure. I've got a release here. From the wife, it's all here. He signed it. Said, I'd like to see the video footage, right? He signed this congressional privacy disclosure to release the footage. I have it here. Lieutenant Lancaster is a public employee. The D.C. Mayor's Office determined Mr. McAbee's privacy disclosure form was ambiguous since the D.C. DOC is not a federal agency. Mr. McAbee's detain uh, detainee of the U.S. Marshal up underneath you. And I find this to be a severe departure from the truth and a blatant excuse not to release the footage. My point is this, is that we have a problem here. I got complaints from the wife, got complaints from the inmate under your custody inside the D.C. jail, right? And now we can't fight, we can't get this footage. It stinks. It seems like she's on administrative leave. We got a problem. We have a severe problem. And my point is this. I'm not really even asking you 
I'm demanding that you call the DC DOC to release the footage on one of your de detainees. We should have a right to see this. If it's bad news and you don't like what it shows, we gotta confess up to it, we got a problem here. In fact, I'm gonna make it my personal mission, my personal mission, to use every subpoena power that I can get from this committee to get this footage. I apologize to this gentleman. I apologize to his wife, Sarah, for having to go through this with no answers or help. So can I get a commitment from you that we're gonna look into this? I have your assurance that we're gonna look into this and get this video footage, because if not, I gotta go to DOJ, I don't care, I have to go to whoever, because I think we have a problem here and it seems like it's being covered up. If I just may start by saying that I share your priority to make sure that those that are in our custody yeah. are treated humanely and yeah. within federal standards, and if there is misconduct, we are committed to investigating all allegations of misconduct. I will commit my team to work with yours to see how we can be responsive to your request. Uh, but as, as also mentioned, we have our 60,000 detainees in some 1,800 facilities. And so we also have to work with the local jurisdiction as well. But I am definitely committed to working with your team on that. Very good. My team will get with one of you in the back of you uh, before we leave this hearing. All right, I yield back. I now will recognize. Yeah, I got it. I understand, Sheila. Just getting good questions, good answers. This is good. I will now recognize Mr. Lather. You want to go five minutes or you want to go?